This is the Kyra District Landcare Dung Beetle Project and the purpose is to bring the spring active dung beetles into the Kyra region. The dung beetles are a wonderful ecosystem engineers. They bury the dung that the cattle and the sheep leave on the paddock. Without them, we'd be up to our knees in dung. Dung beetles are a living treasure because they are an inaugural part of our integrated livestock systems. And they engineer the ecosystem. So we've set up several of these farmer nurseries in the Corora region over the course of today. Two of them have been at schools. One is at Oakland Central School and the other one's at Finlay High School. And it's fantastic to get the next generation of farmers involved in this really regenerative form of agriculture. The kids are getting such an enormous amount of education and benefit out of this project. Adult beetles, which is what we see flying or walking around, they'll be attracted to the scent of the dung and they use the dung as a food source and then the ones we're interested in take dung beneath the surface, they bury the dung, lay an egg in it, the egg hatches into a larva, the larva then eats the dung, goes under pupation and emerges as an adult beetle for the cycle to happen all over again. The female who does a lot of the digging and she's the one who really does the, the, the hard work digging the tunnel and digging the chambers off to the sides of the tunnel where the brood balls are deposited and then she lays her egg in those brood balls. The male takes dung down to her and as she excavates, he takes soil out and puts it onto the surface. So the process of excavating a tunnel is fantastic for the environment because it's making the soil more water permeable, it's aerating the soil, it's taking dung down into the surface of the soil and bringing nutrients in the soil to the surface. There's different varieties who act at different parts of the season. So we're really excited to have these spring ones as we move into spring and closer to summer. So the farmer nursery we have in front of me here, it's got around about 130 Onthophagus vaca in it. These beetles have been sourced from Morocco in Northern Africa. And the reason we've selected Northern Africa is because the Mediterranean climate in Morocco is being modelled to be very similar to the climate in this part of Australia. And it's going to be a spring active dung beetle. So it's going to emerge in the spring and act on the dung which is deposited by the sheep, by the cattle in the spring months. At the moment, we are lacking these beetles in Australia, so we have a large amount of dung being deposited and very little being buried. Well, we've actually had dung beetles in the past. We've had introduced species and been part of programs in the past, but I'm actually really excited to have them reintroduced here to Lambrook for the reason, because they're a great little activator for our soils. So the idea of these farmer nurseries is that the beetles will populate this farmer nursery and build up numbers which are sufficient for us to release into the environment. We're doing it here in a protected form so that the predators around here, it's the foxes and the birds, can't get in and eat these valuable species before they've built up to sufficient numbers to release onto farm. It would be an excellent idea for a strategic approach to your farming practices to introduce dung beetles for the reason because they actually capture our nutrients above the soil and bury them deep into the soil. So it's a win-win both for the dung beetles and for the farmers because it aerates nutrients and also create sustainability habitat. So for this project, Corrie District Landcare have partnered with Petoros Education Group as well as Charles Sturt University, their dung beetle project. 